for engineering um it's the um it's more around the uh, web2 languages like rust node.js which is built on Java, uh, javascript um uh, seems to be uh, in, in 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 demand and with that most most crypto companies are looking for whether, uh, uh, candidates with uh, either web3 uh, web3.js or a solidity experience that's uh, that's kind of given the given uh, is the kind of scenario before the market crash we saw that the companies are okay to hire people with uh, with um, uh, traditional programming languages like Rust, Node.js, Golang, but no experience in Solidity or Web3 or something like that. But I think uh, that's a little bit changed because the employers understand there are lots of candidates, even even with Solidity and Web3 experience, are looking for jobs. So uh, they're, they're in demand. But I have to say some of the crypto companies, they don't need uh, engineers with Solidity or Web3 because their code, uh, code base is, is 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 not um, in some some different departments in in, in a company um, the code bases are does, the code base doesn't touch Solidity or Web three so even with that you you'll be okay with having a, a great trust engineer or Node.js engineer Golang engineer um, these three these three main languages are the ones that are used in most of the crypto companies and some Python as well um, so that seems to be in in in, in demand. Um, and then I know R3 is building something called Core. They already have a blockchain called Core. There are some uh, engineers that who are already already working on that. Uh, that it might actually be a, another uh, emerging emerging trend that we might need to look at because R3 is as a company, they uh, consult for big organizations like you know governments and things like that and building blockchain blockchain solutions. So Core might be actually something to to look for uh, look look at in the future. Um, yeah, that's what I would say. In terms of uh, 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 compliance side, we've actually hired for some major players, some uh, quite recently uh, 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 regulatory uh, people, uh, uh, regs, and and also uh, people with the legal legal background, people who are qualified in illegally qualified, and people who can look at contracts, uh, supplier supplier uh, both contracts in terms of in in house contracts as well as mainly as uh, supplier contracts and things like that getting getting that uh, com uh, com uh, commercial side uh, legally uh, sound uh, and secured is it has been a quite a big um, proportion i would say for most companies uh, at least the companies that we we worked with um, and so and i'm i'm talks with other companies who are hire, who are looking to um, bolster their um, legal and and compliance compliance side so um, in specific roles wise, I would say there is a demand for uh, regulatory and, and legal consultants. That's, that's one for sure. And then um, we saw a, a spike in demand for sort of um, KYC transaction monitoring candidates uh, maybe a, a month ago or so. But I think it's died down again um, because that's that that kind of role right kyc transaction monitoring that's always de depending on uh how many transaction uh or, or activities a company have when the market crash those kind of jobs is not so much important but i think when the market crash what's most important in in terms of compliance side is the regulatory and and compliance so that's that's the demand i see thanks for watching this clip from emerging voices if you enjoyed our content please take a moment to like this video and share it with your friends and to stay up to date with what's happening in Web3 from emerging markets, we produce a five-minute, once-a-week newsletter recapping the week's Web3 news from Africa, Asia, Latin America, and Eastern Europe to help you stay informed and stay smart. Link to get access is in the description. And before you go, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks again, and see you soon.